Hey everybody, Cypherboy here, and today I'm going to attempt to redo um, the Hallowell challenge. Hopefully this will be episode 2. If you have seen the previous episode, you know that it crashed at the end. So at the moment, I'm starting off, nobody has their the uh, careers, they, the jobs they had decided on no skills or anything I do not even have computer yet so hopefully the game does not crash again if so I may try to um, get Phoebe and Co out of there I'm hoping that would uh, take care of that crashing issue and what I had done before I started the game was um, exited out of all of the background programs that do not need to run. I'm hoping that helps a lot too. So with that said, let's hope I can at least get everyone careers. Once I do, I need to save the game in case the crash happens again. So now I'm just waiting for the paper person. Sometimes it's a boy, sometimes it's a girl. Or Mr. Umbu, who has the computer that he gives every new household. <laughs> so right here we have Prue. Why, I mean, Leo. Ko is walking outside with Phoebe. There's Paige. Uh, Chris. Wyatt and Prue is somewhere in the house, probably in the bathroom. Okay, there she is. Um, so here's the paper person. Let's start off with Piper looking for a job since everyone else seems to be busy. And I'm hoping it does not crash as I'm looking through the job area. So let's try it and see. Hopefully it doesn't do anything. I'm kind of worried. Um, so if it does crash, I'll probably delete this video and create another household with fewer people in it. I think the trick is to not move the camera so much, also. So I want Piper to be in the culinary career. Law, that'll be for Cole. And music, no. Dag, dag. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Cole go through the paper and get the law career because that's what he did in the show. So there goes Mr. Umble. He's. I don't know if he's rich or not because every time you start a new household, he gives every household a brand new computer, which is pretty cool. And it often has the um, logo for the uh, university for the Sims, which is the uh, llama. So let's get Phoebe to open that. Cole can go and 
uh, let's get them to recycle because otherwise that paper is going to be sitting on the table and we don't want that so with that let's put the computer down and have her look for a journalism career I have my fingers crossed hoping it does not crash because it this is a point it did last time where they're on the computer it crashed the game And as she's looking through the job listings, I can also see if any other comes up for the other characters. And for that day, no go for the rest of the people. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game since Cole has his log career now. I'd rather not lose that. So I'll save the game and continue on um, as long as I can. And for the rest of the characters, I had planned for Wyatt to get into either a military or a medical career. Prue will be going into architecture because that's closest to the art uh, career that she can get to without going to the college first. I'm thinking about having Paige go into the uh, law enforcement because in the show she's a, so a social worker and that they work closely with the law enforcement so I thought that would be a good pick for her and of course Piper will go into the culinary career because in the show she wanted to run her own restaurant so that'll be something she does I don't know, I may give her possibly a restaurant of her own, but have a small one because in the crowded areas it seems that's what makes the game go slow. This laptop is from, I want to say 2009 or 10, and so it doesn't have the uh, graphic the graphics card I guess to make it run faster but so far it's going nicely um, perhaps I can get looks like Phoebe is playing The Sims 3 but let's her have her write a novel because I think she did that in the show as well like towards the end of it maybe the finale it said she wrote a book or something okay so um, let's have her do a romance and these are the plot elements you can have um, 
let's see. Maybe a tennis racket. An ambulance. Broken hand or something. Um, let's do a stethoscope for the doctor and then give them a baby at the end, I guess. See how well that does. And after the book is finished, that's when um, they start receiving the uh, what is it called? Like a paycheck for it every once in a while. Royalties, I guess, is the word. And that'll bring her uh, creativity up. I think that might have something positive for the uh, journalism career. I, although I could be wrong about that. So let's go to Piper, who should be learning how to cook for her job. So I think you've had enough fun for that. So let's get you to study cooking. Wyatt, I mean Leo, uh, should study mechanical because in the show he was their um, handyman, so I want that to uh, be what he does at the beginning. So it looks like the neighbors have shown up. And these particular neighbors, as you can see there, in there, are zombies. I gave them the last name Walker, which uh, is for from The Walking Dead. And these three live in a graveyard that I made for them. Although it doesn't seem like a graveyard at the moment because there's no um, headstones at the moment, so... But these are nice zombies, they don't eat people. The Sims 2 does have its own official zombie, but these are just skins over top of the characters to make them look all bloody and everything. I don't like that swastika thing, but eh, I'm not the one who made that skin. say the zombie wearing the uniform had um, been in the ocean forever and landed on the shores of this land. And so, mm, I haven't decided yet. There have been cultures who used that symbol though, f like thousands I th of years before a certain group of people had started using it. And at that time it was a positive thing, like um, 
I think they used them in, where was it, Tibet? And also the Native Americans had that symbol, but they were like, uh, done the other way or something like that. So let's say the guy in the uniform is, mm, this is The Sims 2, so let's have the uniform guy be from a different culture. And they were trying to spread mm, maybe peace or something throughout the land, I don't know. So I think I need to have Piper use the toilet, followed by Leo. And I'm sure Phoebe needs to use it as well. So Phoebe needs it more, so let's have her do it. And then between Leo and Piper, it looks like they're about even. So let's see what Piper is doing. Still studying, so let's have her gain one more point for cooking and then she can go to the bathroom. So she can stop. And Wyatt has stopped. So because these two are married, they can be in the bathroom at the same time. Okay, so have her stop doing that and she can serve lunch. And as they do their things, for those of you who don't know, it helps them gain the uh, skill they need. Okay, 
so he made it to the restroom, or bathroom, I should say. And then he can probably put away the leftovers, and that helps keep the food fresh because when they're laying out for a while, the food goes bad, but if they're in the refrigerator, then they stay good for a long time. Oh. Um, let's see if... Turn aging off. I do that with this particular neighborhood all the time because I like these characters. And I'd rather they stay alive for the most part. Although they can still die with accidents like fires, electrical accidents, um, having their needs too low for so uh, many days, and etc. So they're still not invincible, but they're more not likely to get killed or anything. So from this point, I'm going to do the ultra speed, so I can get to the next day and look for those jobs for everyone. I'll probably save the household periodically, like once a day for the game day, and after they gain a job, because I don't want all their progress to be lost again. Another zombie, Victoria Walker, and I have her named Victoria because she looks Victorian um, dressed that way I'll try to get a close-up of her as I said in a previous video I don't know who made all of these but they did an awesome job with them Okay, let's speed it up again. <laughs> and it looks like Leo successfully cooked something without burning down the kitchen, because that does happen, which is why I've got the fire extinguisher on the ceiling and also the, or whatever that thing is called, the sprinkler system, and the uh, fire alarm. I don't know, I think the game looks like it's running, running more smoothly than it had been the previous time I played it. It may have helped I got out of all those other programs. So for 
Wyatt and Chris, I'm just going to have them concentrate on school because whenever they get uh, straight A's for a while, their grandparents send them a hundred dollars. Or I guess in this case, grandparents, since the charmed one said Victor is the only one who's still alive. And Leo is from the 1940s, so I'm sure his parents had died a while ago. Speaking of Charmed, earlier today I had read, or yesterday I should say, now that it's after midnight, I read they're having some kind of a prequel to the series that's set in uh, 1970s. Um, I don't know if I would go for 1970s though because that yeah it'll be interesting and all but I wanted it, the prequel to go before that like maybe the Victorian age in the 1800s or maybe even as I said on Twitter um, in the post they should do like Maybe the daughter of Melinda Warren, the witch who put the, who said that um, each, who had the prophecy that each of the following generations would get stronger each generation. And it would be interesting to see how her daughter copes with having magical powers in the, uh, what time period was it, like 1700s with the witch trials and everything. I think that would have been nice to see. Although there is a TV show similar to that already, um, where they're in the witch hunt area, or era, I should say, and actual witches and everything are running around on the series. Okay, so on the game it's after midnight, so let's go ahead save it again to keep all the progress going and then I can have them look for the jobs the ones who are awake anyway I think that one is cool back th there at the refrigerators and counters so I think Piper might be the only one who can look for a job at the moment However, if the culinary career is not on the job listings for that day, at least I can see what other ones there would be that way. If it goes with any of the other characters, I will know ahead of time. Hopefully I can get at least two more careers uh, been given on this episode and do the rest in the next one. I don't want I don't know how um, much time has passed since I started playing, but I don't want the video to be too long for the people who decide to watch it because um, they, I would hope they don't get bored, but. I know there's other entertaining game players out there than I am. I'm just now starting out so I'm still learning uh, as I go along so it is a learning process if you decide to do some uh, let's play games. It does seem to be taking forever to save the lot though.
Okay, so I can continue with the live mode. First order of business, Piper can stop doing that and then find a job. Hopefully she'll do it because her needs seem to be going downhill. Let's do the first um, tier of the speed. Or the normal speed, and then there's the high, and then the ultra. So I think having it on the normal speed will keep it from crashing. Journalism, no, but that's perfect for Phoebe. <clears throat> Dance, no. Culinary, yes. Okay, that works, so let's get you in the bathtub so you can get clean. Then you can sleep afterwards. See what Phoebe's doing, probably in bed. Okay, she has plenty of energy, so let's go ahead and have her find, get the journalism career. Because it looks like she's well rested right now. Oh, that's why they cannot go because Piper is in the bath and they cannot go through with her in there and the door to the bedroom is um, so the bathroom has doors into the main living area and also the bedroom area so that's why they cannot go through so once Piper is out of the bath then they can do whatever it is they were going to do So let's go ahead and speed that up. I don't know how long Piper's been in the bath, but it seems to be a ridiculously amount of time. Um, I have noticed a lot of people so far on YouTube have been posting yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Posting the um, like they're doing a challenge where they live as their Sims for 24 hours, and those are pretty interesting to watch, especially when they have to like prepare food for like an hour, and it's something really simple like cereal or something.
So they'll do things like um, sit at their dining room table for like 59 minutes and then pour milk into the cereal at the end of that and then eat it for like I don't know how long however long it's for it to take for um since Leo is on the computer let's have him wait never mind that's why it he's probably okay I had the wrong person um selected so So I think after this I'm going to have him do another mechanical st uh, skill to get him off the computer and then Phoebe can get onto it. I'm hoping it has the medical or the military careers on this day. If it's one of the two last ones, that'll be a good thing. Criminal, no. And athletic. And that's a no for me. So, you can study more mechanical. And free the... Uh, computer up for Phoebe did use. Piper needs to go to sleep. It looks like someone had messed the tub up because it's spewing water out everywhere. So it's a good thing Leo is doing the other the mechanical skill because he can work on that thing and then Ko is in the background trying his best to um, mop up the floor but that's not going to work because it'll just keep f getting water all over the floor so he'll be back there forever Okay, so that is three people who have jobs now. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game now. And then end this episode and start on the next one. So far, the game has run really smoothly today. So that's I'm hoping that continues on as I do the next episode. So and with that being said, I hope you had fun watching this. And uh, till next time, bye.